Welcome back to another video here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding my copperhead snake, the Kistrodon contortrix. Uh, this is a pit viper native to the southeastern United States. Uh, one of the more common snakes here in Georgia, in my opinion. Uh, as far as the venomous snakes go, it's a little bit harder to find rattlesnakes, depending on where you go and other things. But nevertheless, I'm not going to bore you guys with too many crazy facts. And we're going to go ahead and get started with this feeding video because i got to get these guys good and fed this week so we can keep on moving with all the stuff we got to get done this week as well. So we'll do some more facts videos coming out soon. So tell me what you think of it, man. And we'll see what this snake's going to do. These guys are normally pretty timid and shy snakes, so usually take them a little bit of time to get with the program with the feeding time especially since I have to you know kind of separate them out whenever I'm feeding them and things so that way they can stay safe let's see might try to find me a little a little rag here real quick so I can wipe the camera off Walk over to my other little room. He's going to mess around. He's going to upset our little friend here. Let me wipe this off real good. Make sure we're all good and in focus. Brighten it up just a little hair for you so we can all see what's going on here. Man, look. You're messing with the right one. Boom! Oh, shit. Damn. He bit the shit out of him. Excuse my French. Good Lord have mercy. He wasn't playing with him that time, guys. Good Lord. Check out the slow-mo. Tell me what you guys think. Ooh, another bite. I figured that'd get him a little stirred up, getting him a little fresh meal this week. Ooh, third time's the charm. Man, this snake really does have some beautiful colors on it, man, with the light browns, dark browns, tans, and things. I really enjoyed looking at this one. It's probably the most beautiful snake in my collection, like as far as like coloration goes for the venomous snakes. Because they, ooh, again. That mouse up here hobbling around. Get, get a, ooh. Look at that. Close up. Can't even mess with them, man. They're up here wilding in these streets. Let me get you a little bit closer down here on the action, guys. I don't know why I have y'all so far up here. So what you gonna do, fam? You gonna strike him again? Or what? <clears throat> Cause I don't know if my mouse friend doing too well. Yeah, I don't think he's doing too hot, guys. Whew. Man, that was some awesome strikes. So tell me when you want to uh, see some of these slow motion shots. Would you want to see these directly after it happens? Or maybe a little bit further on in the video, would you show like a, a little compilation of all the strikes in the video at one time for a little slow motion at the end or something? Maybe a little Easter egg, you know? Hmm. I don't know if you guys caught the latest Easter egg. There was a change at Hostways Exotics in how I do my videos. And something has definitely changed on there. I can't let you guys know. So tell me if you have seen a difference. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while. 
Uh, it could be in the beginning, could be at the end of the video, it could be somewhere in the middle. So you just gotta keep looking to see what it is, cause I definitely changed something in how the video format is. Oof, a little musketeer friend over here ain't doing too bueno. A little sneaky snake here says he's he's probably ready to go ahead and eat, huh? Big stretch. These copperheads are definitely one of the a very good investment for everything we got going on here, because I enjoy working with these snakes. These are the only ones I actually handle a little bit because they're so timid and shy natured i mean of course there's always a chance of getting bitten you try to stay out of the strike zone but i've definitely handled these snakes like like free-handed a little bit more because they're that awesome of a snake but still deadly nonetheless i feel like i need to repeat that you know just don't be out here doing crazy stuff like that i've just been working with these snakes and different kinds of venomous snakes for a long time now and I feel like I'm a little bit more versed in this subject, so I can do that now. Because a year ago, when I got my first one, my pygmy rattlesnake, I wouldn't even think about trying to touch him or even get near to him. But sometimes you have to. Because sometimes snakes don't shed like they're supposed to. Maybe the humidity was just off that day when everybody decided to shed their skin. But, you know. Either way, we're going to hit this with the time lapse, guys. Since he's going to start eating his little mouse, so you can enjoy that. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so he's almost done with his food for this week, or she, should I say. Uh, but I just want to always remind you guys, make sure you guys check out those links in the description. You're going to pick up some real cool reptile merch from hides, uh, cork bark logs, substrate, water bowls, you name it. I have a whole bunch of real cool stuff down there, and you can go ahead and pick it up today. And there's a lot of the stuff I review in my product review videos, so make sure you guys go check those videos out and get you some stuff because Christmas is right around the corner and if you know somebody that has a reptile it'll be an awesome gift for them and they'll greatly appreciate it so appreciate you guys as always for watching the videos and doing the engagement make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe if you want to see more awesome content